welcome back. I'm getting a late start on starting this vlog today. Um, it's actually one o'clock. James has been gone for a couple hours. He left to go um, spend some time with his friends. They have like a guys day cookout. They try to do it once a year. They didn't get to do it last year. So he's going to hang out with them. And I was like, go, you need to do that. You never do anything for yourself. So he's gone. I've been piddling and decorating a little bit. I'm going to show y'all what I've done. I'm going to show you my shelf that I have customized. Um, and I did it all by myself with very, very, very little help from James. I was so proud of me. Um, the only thing he did was because I do not do well with a tape measure. I can, I can read a tape measure, but when he gets into all those weird little sixteenths and eighths and all that. Y'all don't laugh at me, but not my strong suit. So I measured and made him double check that and I was right. Yay. <laughs> and then he showed me what piece of wood I could have. So I cut it down by myself, sanded it, painted it, and tacked it up with the nail gun by myself. He did kind of help me figure out where to put the hooks, but I drilled the pilot holes and screwed it in by myself. So I'm proud of me. Um, and I'm gonna show you that. I don't have a lot on it, but um, that's okay. I have some ideas of some things I wanna do, so I'll just be kind of looking out for it. Um, I put my basket with my little enamel pitcher and my rolling pins up on top of my cabinets kind of moved some of that around did a little bit there i'm going to show y'all that but before i do all that i am fixing to heat me up some lunch I'm starving haven't eaten breakfast or lunch so i'm just going to heat up some leftovers and eat that and then i'll show y'all everything i've done we did start on the office yesterday my days are running together and um I'm working on editing that video. It's not complete. We just have just the baseboard to do and then the quarter round around the top and the sides and then I can get in there and patch the holes and paint and put everything back and it'll be done and I'm so excited. So hopefully that'll be coming up next week. But I'm just gonna do some light housekeeping, nothing major. I've washed a few dishes already and um, I'd have to sweep my floors. I'm not gonna mop because the weather's nasty. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And so I'm not mopping today. I'll just do that next week after the rain. So I'll do some cleaning motivation next week. But we still have the table here. We've not got that to the kids yet because it was supposed to rain yesterday and it did a little bit, but we're just not gonna take the chance. So we still have the table here. My house is disarray because hello when you're doing any kind of diy room makeover sprucing up whatever it seems like the whole house becomes a disaster area so i have to do some laundry i procrastinate so bad on laundry um i have a load of laundry in my dryer that's been there since thursday mm -hmm. yep don't judge so I've got to get that done and put up and um, yeah. So let me get some food in me and then I will show you the shelf and what I've done above my cabinets and y'all can let me know what you think. So I'll be back with y'all in just a little bit. Okay, here is the shelf with the hooks. This is probably not staying. I just hung it up there to see, but I did go ahead and paint over my screws but this is what it looks like, and I love it. Those are those bells. I'm sorry if y'all hear Buster slurping up his water in the back, but this is those bells that was in that little bag of stuff that I got, and I just think they're so cute. So I put them up there, and I'm gonna have to get some other things, but you know, I love it. I got options now. So now let me show you above my kitchen cabinets. So this is where I put the basket with the rolling pins. I elevated that chicken that was normally right there. I elevated it and I put my old wooden bowl in front of it. And I really am liking the way this side is looking. Um, I really do like that. Now here, this is still, 
I'm still working and trying to find stuff. That's an old metal basket. And then that's an old weather vane my mother gave me. And that's that old butter churn. And that's an old bowl. And then of course the dipper. But I still think this needs some stuff, but it's okay. It, it's okay for now. I'm really loving this right here. Show you. I really love all of that. To me, it just kind of flows and I just love it. So that's how that looks. So now that I'm full, I ate too much lunch. I've got a sink full of dishes again. Um, I need to sweep my floors, but I think I'm gonna sit down for just a minute and edit, start, edit some more of my video and get in the comments some and wait for my son, him and Sarah are coming over this afternoon sometime, I don't know what time, um, he needs a haircut. So he's gonna come over and I'm gonna cut his hair, see him for a minute, um, but I really don't have a whole lot going on. I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby in Gulfport and I was also gonna hit the at-home store because y'all give me some ideas about the at-home store, y'all. It totally, I totally forgot the at-home has such a vast variety of area rugs. I totally forgot. And so I was gonna go there today and do that, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. So we can go next week. I probably won't do the Hobby Lobby thing next week because I was going for greenery for the little picture up there, but I had a little thing up there that had that greenery already in it. So I just took that greenery out, put it in there, reused it. So that's, what I did with that, so I didn't have to go get any greenery, just reusing what I had, which is always a plus. But there was a rooster I had up here, a metal rooster that I bought around Christmas time. I don't know if y'all remembered, I bought it at the thrift store. And I really did not have anywhere for him. I looked everywhere for a place to put him. But then I come up with this idea, and I'm gonna show y'all, and y'all have to let me know what y'all think. Now, it's not complete, because I do need greenery for this area, but, I don't know what I'm gonna get for it, but let me show so you. So I put him in this old crock. Now I wanna get some greenery to kinda of go around the top of the crock, um, maybe like a fern or something, I don't know, and have him kinda of sticking up out of it. But I think he looks great in that crock. That was my great-grandmother's crock. It's old. I don't even remember how old my mama said it was, but I didn't like it just being empty. And I've been looking for greenery that I want to go in and hadn't found it. But I just stuck him in there. What do y'all think? I think it's cute. I think it ties in with all the black and everything. So I'm gonna live with it for a little while, but y'all have to let me know what your thoughts are. And do y'all think that I should get some greenery or does it look fine without it? I'm kind of leaning toward I want some greenery in it, but y'all just let me know. I also think. forgot to show y'all a plate that I got from the thrift store. I don't remember. I don't even know if I even told y'all about it or when I was going or whatever, but I found this plate and I paid $1.99 for it. Yeah, I think it was $1.99. It was either 99 cents or $1.99, but I'm pretty sure it was $1.99. And I just think it is perfect up here on the top of my black shelf. I'm gonna show you. I don't know if it's pewter, but if it's not, it doesn't matter. It looks enough like pewter and it kind of goes with all my other pewter pieces. So let me show y'all that. And then I also need to show y'all a picture frame that I picked up um, one day while I was out. I just happened to see it in my bedroom. I'm like, I didn't even show y'all that. So let me show you this and then I'll go show that you the picture my frame. beautiful little rooster plate. Like I said, I don't know if he's pewter. I kind of think he is, but sorry, my hands are shaking. I'm not 100% sure, but when you stand back, isn't that cute up there? I just love the way it kind of goes with the little metal thing full of greenery and that, and then that old platter that belonged to my great-grandmother. I just love it. Okay, now let me just show y'all the picture frame I got in my bedroom. So this is the picture frame I got, and I love it. This is what I love about it, the two little balls on the bottom for the feet. Isn't that so cute? I don't know if it's vintage. It looks vintage to me. I don't really care if it is or it isn't, but I just think it is so cute. Over here on my nightstand. It's perfect. Y'all excuse my nail file. 
and my pill. Y'all, let me tell y'all what I have graduated to. This. <laughs> I'm having to put all my vitamins and everything in this because I got so tired of having to open all the bottles. And so, I just put them in this and I set it here. At least I got green. I just kind of set it here. And that's a little tray I thrifted. I think it's so cute. And then those are my other vitamins that I take. But yeah, and then when I come to bed with clips in my hair, I just stick them in that basket down there. And that's my old iPad that I still use from time to time. But. Isn't that frame just the cutest thing? That's going to do it for me for right now. Um, I'm going to get over there and start work, continue working on my room makeover video. Got a lot of editing to do on that. And um, hopefully I'll get that video up pretty soon for y'all next week. Hope so. But, um... Yeah, I'm just going to kind of sit down just a minute, work on that a little bit till I get tired of doing that. And then I'll get up and do something. I need to sweep. <laughs> How many times have I said that? That's called procrastination, y'all. And I still haven't done the laundry in my dryer. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I just got to psych myself up. y'all i have been wanting to make this recipe that my friend liz from traditions by the seasons showed us in the fall it's literally um it's between a cookie and a muffin and you use a spice cake mix a can of pumpkin some chocolate chips and then I like to add nuts, and so I have some of these walnuts, and so I'm going to make these, I call them a mookie, because <laughs> they're, be they're between the texture of a cookie and a muffin. <laughs> so I'm going to make this real quick. I will link her video down below where she showed how to make it, but it's so quick and simple and easy, and it's so delicious, and it will be great for breakfast in the morning with a cup of coffee, and so I'm just going to make it real quick, and... Um, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. I'm gonna get out my cookie sheet and my parchment paper. Let's see. Yeah. You just line your cookie sheet with some parchment paper. I don't worry about like I'm not fancy with it. I just kind of put it over put it over my pan and show you. Put it over my pan and then when I get everything mixed up, I'll put it on there and be good to go. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves It's deja vu in the oven now let's do some laundry oh <sighs> fun 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 say we're done say it's over should it be coming back but somehow we cut back acting drunk even though we're sober we should be good but we keep out of fires the words you keep cause we're scared of the silence we should be good but we keep out of fires fires around ourselves we should be good but we keep out of fires the words you keep cause we're scared of the silence we should be good but we keep out of fires fires around ourselves it's deja vu i
We got all that done with 35 seconds to spare. I did set the timer for 12 minutes. We're gonna look at them and then we'll go from there. And this is what they look like. Um, I think I'm gonna let them go for another two minutes, three minutes. I'm gonna do another three minutes. Okay, timer just went off. Let me show y'all. Yep, we're gonna call that good. Like I said, they are not going to be super firm. They're so good. Okay, so let me put them on a plate. This is a big one. <laughs> I got a little crazy with that one and this one. It's ginormous. Whoop. All right, I'm gonna bake up the wrist. My baby's come over. Yeah. How you eating? Cody, what'd you come see your mama for? Cause you missed her? I did miss her, but I required a haircut. Mm. She had to do some uh, corrective surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Was you happy to see Cody and Sarah? <laughs> Was you so happy they come over? I love Buster. Your little tail hang quit wagging <laughs> since they got here. Oh, I love you. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We actually got the wall finished. Now all I have to do is caulk it, sand it, and paint it. So that will be happening next week. So I should have y'all video on this next week. I'm so excited. But until then, I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.